Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video we are going to be unpackaging, unboxing a bicycle handlebar mount for a point-and-shoot camera. Now this also could be for a GoPro or any camera with a little screw-on tripod attachment screw on the bottom. And when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about this right here. But I do not think that it's sturdy enough for a DSLR, so do not risk your DSLR. Go with a point-and-shoot, GoPro, etc. But let's go ahead and get this guy on out and take a look at it. Okay, there we go right here. Let's get this out of the packaging here. There we go. All right. So as we can see, we got a little bit of a crazy contraption going on here. And I'm going to have to do a little bit of figuring out exactly how to latch it down. But let's say my fingers, I guess, are the handlebars. It would clamp down like this. And again, pads on the inside to protect your handlebars here and here. Very high quality, guys. I'm very impressed with this. And again, this would screw in. And then just like a quick release bicycle tab, that would fold down as that screws in right here. This is adjustable so that I guess you could get some side shots if the camera's on there. And then it goes back up and we tighten that right there. And then that course that tightens on right there. So let us put on our point and shoot. And if you guys are wondering what kind of point and shoot this is, this is the Canon S110 point and shoot. So let's get that going there. Okay, and it tightens on up, tightens on up like this. So let's get that guy on in there like that. Okay, so again, then that kind of goes around there like that, but that is on there, guys, as you can see. So we come around here, and again, let's say our Oops, we put it backwards, but it could float around. You guys get the point. So, again, you kind of just tighten up that right there. Alrighty, guys. So, as you can see here, we're looking really good right here. And that would attach. I do have it on backwards than what I just showed you right there, but you guys get the point. And so, that would go on your bicycle. And so, again, you would then loosen this lever right here. And that would have it come down here for like kind of this mode, I guess, or if you want it a little bit crooked, etc. And then you just tighten that guy back on up and then it stays straight. The only thing that I'm not really sure about, guys, is that why on earth would it go side to side and it would not tilt up and down like this? So let's say you're on your bicycle like this and you want to like kind of get more of like a GoPro, like heading at the wheel for that GoPro shot it doesn't seem to lean back and forth just side to side unless you clamped it on like this with the camera facing down then of course you would loosen this on up and it would go down this way so unless I'm doing it wrong I don't know anyway guys I thought that was really cool very secure and we're looking good again just tighten all the levers so anyway guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and again this is for a GoPro as well, but I just wanted to kind of show you a bicycle mount for a nice point and shoot. For vlogging, I do a lot of vlogs myself, and so you could be on your bicycle vlogging instead of always taking your GoPro with you. You could have a nice landscape video mode shots there. So anyway, I'll link all this in the description box, I'll link the camera, the bicycle mount, I'll even link my video logs where I do some really fun action adventure and just have good days and film it all on this camera. So you guys take a look at that and enjoy your day. Thanks for watching.